It's 21 and a half minutes past five o'clock. Arts reporter Pierre Landry joins me in studio. Hello again, Pierre. Hi, Sue. Uh, an original way of raising money, uh, this time done from uh, the uh, folks at St. Justin Hospital. Uh, the uh, foundation has come up with an idea uh, for their funding campaign this year to involve choirs all across Quebec. Even some from New Brunswick and Ontario have decided to participate. The prize is interesting because the winning choir will get to sing with Céline Dion, who has been a longtime partner of uh, the uh, foundation. Foundation, the marraine of this uh, thing. Mm. Uh, so the way that this uh, contest work, uh, works uh, is that every time you go and vote for a different choir, you make a $5 donation. And the hospital hopes for 200,000 votes, which means $1 million, that will then go to research and preventive medicine uh, for the sick children at uh, the St. Justin Hospital. So to find out a bit more, I went to uh, the foundation and spoke with Agnès Lecoq. She's the president and executive director of the St. Justin Hospital Foundation. Uh, and I also watched a, a number of videos and, and, you know, eyes were teared up while watching them. You were? Abso- I'm, I'm a sucker for this t- type of stuff. And it very, very you mean touching. videos about kids or videos of choirs? Of choirs singing, uh, children's choirs, uh, adults, uh, people from, you know, many different backgrounds, professionals, non-professionals, uh, and very, very, very touching. Uh, and the response has been overwhelming. 174 choirs are participating. Sure, we're crazy about choirs here in Quebec. Sure, thing. Uh, and here's Agnès Lecoq describing a bit uh, some of the videos and the overwhelming response that they've gotten so far. When you look at all these videos that are on the site, uh, you see the people. You see the people singing. You see the, the brightness in, in their eyes. You see them singing for Céline, singing for Saint Justine. You see the creativity. I mean, it's unbelievable what people thought of you know it's you know they really thought of little uh, scenes you know a mother and a child because we are a mother and child hospital they they you know the creativity is just i was astonished and you can see they had a lot of fun doing that they have they put a lot of passion into it and also uh you can see that it's something that will remain that is uh, Agnès Lecoq, the uh, president and executive director of the uh, St. Justin Hospital Foundation. So did you hear any choirs? Absolutely, I heard some. I pulled this from the web. Uh, this is uh, the choir from The Study. It's a school in Westmount. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all the choirs uh, sing a song of Céline Dion's, of course, because if they're going to sing with her, well, they have to sing one of her songs. Uh, this one is called S'il suffisait d'aimer. All right, I'm feeling a little verklempt myself. Okay, who is that singer? It is student Samantha Levy, uh, who studies at the study, studies at the study, yes, uh, in Westmount, uh, singing the lead there. And I spoke with Samantha, and I asked her why did she want to get involved, uh, not only in the choir, of course, but in this contest to maybe sing with Céline. I've gotten treatment from hospitals, from ki- with kids' hospitals, and a kid is a kid, no matter what hospital they go to, and... It really touches my heart because kids that are sick, it's just a horrible thing all around. And by helping St. Justine, I'm helping kids, and that makes me so happy. It honestly does. Not to mention that she's an amazing singer. Absolutely. I mean, she has really, really nice vocals, Mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, I also had a chat with Isabel Metuali. She uh, teaches music at uh, the study. Uh, She was telling me how, you know, they took a whole weekend and everybody got involved. Her husband uh, works in audio, so he recorded the choir. And they also have friends who uh, own a camera, so they filmed the video (laughs) and then somebody did the editing and everything else. But in the whole process, uh, because they got the the kids' choir from the school involved, uh, well, it was also a chance to discuss and and to talk and, and to talk about about feelings and about kids. Uh, here's uh, Isabel Metuali talking about that discussion they had. 
Well, we talked about the hospital. We talked about the community that the people in need, um, and the girls are are used to this. We are a school that supports the community um, in in various ways. So this is another way that came about. But it's the first time we ever hear of a contest where the grand prize of the people that would raise the most money would get to sing with Celine Dion with a, a superstar. So that was it's uh, it's been very exciting. It's been very exciting. Is all I can say. <laughs> So far, uh, over 50,000 votes have come in. Uh, that's what Aniel uh, Lecoq from uh, the, uh, not the school, but the foundation was telling me on Tuesday. Uh, people have until the end of uh, April, in fact, to vote. So the, the target is 200,000 votes. Um, we were mentioning the prospect of maybe singing with Céline Dion. Uh, mm. Coming back to uh, Samantha Levy uh, singing the lead, how does she feel about maybe singing with Céline Dion? I would be honored. Celine Dion is an amazing woman doing amazing things such as this. But personally, I don't think that's the goal for me. The goal is really to raise funds for kids. So if we get to meet Celine Dion, I would be honored. That would be an amazing bonus. But really, that's all it would be, a bonus, because we'd be raising money for kids. Wow, she sounds pretty well grounded, that no girl. Kidding. Is she, I mean, does she want to perhaps pursue that interest that she has in singing one day? Oh, she has many goals for when <laughs> really? she grows up, yeah. Oh my gosh, when people ask me that question, I don't know how to react because I want to be so many things. Um, I would like to go on Broadway, become a singer, dancer, actor, triple threat, maybe do some TV film. Uh, maybe radio, who knows? I'd like to maybe become an English teacher, get some qualifications in science, writing. I have a lot I want to do. It's a long list. <laughs> yeah, my, my mom and dad are supportive, though. So, I mean, why not? That's what life is for, trying. Why not, indeed? There you go. So Samantha Levy from uh, the study in all girls school uh, in Westmount participating in this contest uh, to maybe sing with Céline Dion on the hopes of raising money, of course, for the uh, St. Justin Hospital Foundation. I put a link on our Facebook page if you want to look at the choirs. Some are very, very, very touching. So you might want to have some tissue nearby. I, <laughs> Pierre, I, I love not. it when you show us your soft side. Oh, I, I'm a softie for these things. I mean, anytime kids are involved, I completely lose it. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. Okay. That is our arts reporter, very objective arts reporter, Pierre Landry. And I will put a link up to that on our Facebook page.